This is looking pretty good. I'm going to show you guys what I do next. But first, I need to taste it. You always need to taste your food. See if you're, you would like it. And see if it's something your mama would be proud of you. Or if she'd slap you upside your head for it. Anyways, I'm going to taste mine. guys welcome back to my channel hopefully your day has been going pretty well I just want to ask you guys how has it been for you because it is day 30 something for me and I have to be honest it's getting to me because honestly when you can't go outside that means you're stuck at home so you're stuck at whoever it is that lives I live in a building so I'm just annoyed right now with the selfishness of people so I'm kind of trying to take my own advice and keep calm because this quarantine is not going to end for now. Anyways, that's not what my video is about. In today's video, I'll be making two meals. So you guys can stick around. Hopefully you'll try them. If you do, you can let me know. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you so much to the people who have already subscribed and who have reached out and had conversations um, about the content that I'm putting out. You guys seem pretty happy with it. So thank you very much. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay guys, so the first meal I'm making is called Cheesy Ground Beef Fajita Crunch Wrap. And some of the stuff I'll be using are obviously ground beef. So I've already um, kind of strained my ground beef so that all the blood runs out. And I've let it thaw out obviously because it was in the freezer. And then I just mixed a couple of seasonings that I have. You guys can use your own seasoning or you could use the... Seasonings that I've added in the description box to the actual recipe. They use chicken, but I'm just deciding to use ground beef instead. And the personal seasoning I'm using has um, a bit of parsley in it, salt, other spices, um, and herbs, as well as, as black pepper. So I prefer to use Caribbean seasoning because I am an island girl and I like an island flavor in my meal. But you guys, again, can follow the recipe below if you need specific amounts of which um, seasoning you can use for the actual recipe. Alright, so you want to cook the ground beef um, until it's brown all around and just use a spatula if you have one or a wooden spoon to make it um, into smaller pieces. Okay guys, then you want to just use whatever vegetables that you don't mind going into the oven. For me, I don't mind carrots um, and a bit of pepper, uh, bell pepper, scallion, and then some corn. Okay guys, so this is what it's looking like so far. As you can see, it's really colorful and yeah, super excited about this. So I want to make some corn, but my can opener is broken. But I'm an island girl as I mentioned, so I'm going to show you guys how I open my can when I don't have a can opener or my can opener breaks.
So the recipe calls for tortilla, obviously, but I don't have that. So I have whole wheat roti and it's vegetarian and egg free. So I think it's pretty healthy. Okay, so how much rice are you using? No idea. Ha, <laughs> why? Because I'm Caribbean. Yeah. Worry, we don't know how much um, <laughs> cups of rice that is, but when we're done, you're gonna see how good it looks. It's gonna be nice and jelly, just the way that we like it. So obviously, we like to rinse our rice until the water is pretty much clear. And then the chicken, you could probably see, is just resting in a bit of vinegar. Um, that's a good way to clean the chicken a bit before you start prepping it for cooking. And in this case, we're just going to bake it. Okay guys, so the fajita is pretty much done. I'm just going to let it sit for a bit and then I'm going to flip it over. <laughs> okay, and for the rice, it's just a bit of butter and salt that's in there. Um, you can... Kyle, I'm filming! And I'm, I'm still gonna leave this in the video. Yes, yeah, so it's just a bit of butter and salt. Um, you can also put a bit of scallion and thyme if you want a bit more flavor. And you also can put a bit of coconut milk or coconut oil instead of um, the butter as well. But again, it's just butter and salt that we have in ours for today. And then I like to clean up a bit as I go because if I don't clean up, it's just going to get annoying to clean up after. Anyways, this is the chicken. I washed it in a bit of vinegar. Then I'm going to eyeball it and add my seasoning. This is my Caribbean mix, so there's parsley and stuff like that in it and a bit of salt. So I don't need to add extra salt. I'm going to add a bit of black pepper. And then, I love parsley, so I'll add quite a bit of this as well. I think that's enough. So as I mentioned, this is going in the oven. I've already cut up a bit of scallion and thyme and onion, so I'm just going to scoop that in there. Okay. And then I'm going to add a bit of olive oil. Not too much, just a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to mix it together. So with the fajita, again, as I said, this is the bottom, so we're just going to flip it and then see what the top looks like. Hopefully, it's not a fail. So put, put the plate, plate on top. Mm -hmm. And just, just 
just flip it. Mm. And it should just fall out. Yay! Okay, so this is what it looks like right now. My hand's clean. It's pretty hard. Um, and the cheese is well melted, so that's good. I can't wait to cut it open. Guys, so Kyle will tell you guys. Kyle's my husband, by the way. I don't think I introduced him, but yeah. He was going to tell you what he did for the rice. Babe? Um, I boiled it. For how long? I don't know. <laughs> until the water starts um, boiling not not start boiling but like goes down mm -hmm. and it's basically at the same level as the rice okay and then um put the cover on put it down to the thing down to three mm -hmm. and then i let it um simmer or whatever you want to call it for like 15 minutes and i let it rest for five minutes and it's done wow never fails right yep. awesome so we're just gonna take a look at the chicken thighs so they are in the oven baking away and I'll check on them again in about 25 minutes because I like to poke them make sure that <laughs> I like to poke them and make sure that uh, like any blood or juice runs out because I don't like that <laughs> like my meat well done Okay guys, I'll be back in one second. Okay guys, I'm going to cut into the fajita and see how inside looks. Obviously it won't be cheesy um, because I didn't use that much cheese. I changed my mind. But let's just cut and see what it looks like. And you want to make sure you're cutting this when it's cool enough because if you cut it and it's not cool, it's going to be all runny and stuff and you don't want that. Make sure you're cutting it straight to the bottom. Okay, so that's pretty much what the inside like. Um, sorry, looks like. Just pretty good. Obviously, cheese would keep this together a bit more, but I think that's something that I'll do for the next time. This was my first time trying this meal, so I think I'm pretty happy with how it came out. So that's what it looks like when I cut it. It looks pretty good. Can't wait to actually eat it. Hmm. Done. I just put a couple of asparagus um, to eat with. You guys can always add more vegetables if you are into that. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. Usually I do a coating over my chicken but it's late and I'm tired so this is gonna have to do anyways that's the end of the video hopefully hopefully you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video good night or goodbye either one mm -hmm.